Hey, what's up, y'all? This is George Anthony. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, George Lamont, and this is our new song, Now That It's Over. This is, this is CPR Jose Ortiz. Mr. Exclusive. Mr. Exclusive. Freestyle premiere on Clubhouse Dance Music and the CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. I don't want to waste your time. CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. Final beat. And if what that man did in his life makes the blood pulse through the body of others, then his essence, his spirit, will be immortalized forever. Take 
got the answers. I change the question. Clubhouse Dance Music with CPR Jose Ortiz on 90.7, 90.7 WTCC and WTCC HG Springfield.
Hello and welcome. Welcome to Clubhouse Dance Music. My name is CPR Jose Ortiz, and I'll be with you with my special guest this week, G.A. George Anthony in the studios as we celebrate and do a retrospect on the career of the great one here, George Anthony. We just kicked off the show with Groove Therapy featuring George himself and Am I Gonna Be The One. Also in the studios, La Jefa. You, you can't hear the Jefa, but uh, no, and I'm not calling you anything derogatory. In Spanish, La Jefa means the boss, all right? People out there like, why are you calling her a Jefa? I'm like, no, no, La Jefa. Right now, it's more G.A. George Anthony. It's George Anthony and my Asia. And this is Heartbreaks.
94.7 FM W TCC It's GA George Anthony It's Niaja Heartbreaks In the studios we have George Anthony George, welcome to the show Thanks for having me again for the one millionth time Always a pleasure to be here CPR, you already know Well, my house is your house uh, Once again we want to welcome GA George Anthony Into the studios He got uh, the boss here, you know, making sure the social media is straight up. And uh, we also have a uh, superstar athlete daughter. That's it, Liana in the house with her softball. Staying out here in um, Massachusetts, you know, showcasing her talents. Yeah, yeah, man, that's great. She had a she had a, she had had a game here in Springfield. Yeah, man. That was awesome. If you called me today, I'm like, oh, my God. No, the, the crazy part is, um, Jose, was that, oh, we're playing in Boston. I was like, okay, that's nowhere near Springfield. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, when she gave the yeah, address, we're like, Springfield, okay. You know, I, I told my wife, let's go. Let's um, pay Jose a visit, and at the same time, I'm going to go check out Liana. So it kind of worked out. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, launch this brand new project that you have. Uh, is uh, George Anthony featuring George Lamont or GA versus GL? And uh, I, I coined the phrase that, or the, <laughs> the moniker GA George Anthony, and I'm glad that it stuck. <laughs> yes. And so uh, they have GL, GA. They got too many acronyms. Uh, yeah, it man. sounds like I'm working at my job right now because <laughs> my job is all acronyms, you know? Right. But uh, I'm really happy for you that you got together with uh, George Lamont. Why do you think that George Lamont took to you? Uh, you guys didn't have this bond before. Right. So w w where did this bond come from? You know, you know what it is? Um, George Lamont, you know, had... He was very successful back back at the time, you know what I'm saying? And and I was more underground. Um, I, I didn't take it to the next level where where he was always... His thing was like promoting himself and being on shows and all that. And I did. I, I just did in the background doing songwriting and stuff. But we knew of each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, Many years ago, I, one of my first shows that I did in Freestyle was opening up for George Lamont. I would say like over 25 years ago. And um, I, I said, you know what? Um, George Lamont had a show. I, I didn't kind of like um, focus on that. So I said, okay, I'll admire George Lamont from afar, and I'll try to write songs and and sing. But um, but uh, over the years, you know, he, uh, we went into the salsa together on the '90s after freestyle kind of died a little bit, and um, we became close and we spoke a lot because he had a see, um, que te vas that song salsa, and I had a song called Volvere, and we were always traveling together. So we were bumping each other um, as far as the music in that way. And then when he saw me working with Jay Adams and he saw the stuff, uh, the album as of 2015, he said, you know, this kid is, is doing good stuff. And I said, let me start putting my face to the to the songs, to the name and all that stuff. And then I guess little by little, our relationship grew, you know, in freestyle. And then, of course, I started showing um, George Lamont the stuff. He gave me his opinion, constructive criticism. And now in 2019, he heard this song. He says, um, I'm going to help you. I'm going to jump on it. And, and that's how this happened. A lot of people say that uh, the the older generation don't want to help the newer generation, which you know is neither here nor there. But mm -hmm. I think I think that when you when you have bonds like the one that you just the connection that you made with George Lamont, yeah. it's easier to do that because you earned that. You know, it isn't something that you just have somebody take. No, uh, and, and I think that uh, the new generation needs to learn that patience, mm -hmm. earning stuff, being humble. Of course. You know, I think that um, my countdown is a curse <laughs> and it's also a, um, a something positive. I always yeah. wanted to have a countdown. I love countdowns. I watch, mm -hmm. watch Mojo all the time, all the <laughs> countdowns that they do. Yeah. I'm a fan of MTV countdowns. Mm -hmm. And so what I've noticed recently as of late is that as soon as I feature someone here that's new artist, And they got on the countdown. And if they make it to number one, they tend to really uh, stop working and then start talking, you know. Gotcha. And it kind of messes up the, the aura right. because people start knowing all your stuff and you start putting it out there. Of course. And it just becomes something negative where you you took a different route. You just stay quiet. And keep singing. And keep singing. That's and you, you did your yeah. album in 2015, Nothing yeah. Like Your Love. Yeah. And right now we're having a poll because we're going to be doing a mm -hmm. special... Uh, George Anthony countdown here on the show next week uh, awesome. to to commemorate and to celebrate your career, but also your new song with George Lamont. Of course. And uh, people are voting to get their top three songs, yeah. and so we'll tally everything up. So this is the type of stuff that I like to do. I like to uh, have a consensus. I like to have people vote. I like to have fun with it, yeah. and I can't I can't wait to do this. Yeah, no, I want to see what the results are. I want to know <laughs> if nothing like your love will be number one, of or course. or the duet with Niaja. Yeah, and man. and uh, you know this George Lamont project, I'm 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 truly excited because it's my boys, mm -hmm. people that I know for a long time, over 20 years, 
Yeah. It's Jay Adams, homegrown CPR's clubhouse guy. It's you. And then you've teamed up with a, a brand new label. You want to talk about that? No, no, of course. Um, you know, we've been talking for a few weeks already. I think almost a month with um, Gino Caparelli that, you know, is doing big things in the freestyle before when he freestyle and um, he partnered up with um, Carlos Berrios, um, Berrios Beats. And um, they're, they're just doing things, I guess, how, how it used to be done in the past, except more modernized, you know. For lack of a better word, I mean, I wish I knew exactly what happens behind the scenes, but that's why we, we teamed up with them because they they can do things that I'm not able gonna I'm not gonna be able to do um, for myself. So I can only give them a, a good product, what I feel is a good product, and hopefully um, they like it and um, are able to push it the the way that they know how to. So I'm glad I'm part of the 418 family. I'm very grateful to Carlos Berrios for endorsing the project. I'm I'm glad that. Gino loves the song. Willie Valentine, Jay Allums, um, George Lamont for, for jumping on the song and helping me. So there's a lot of people to thank. Of course, you'll see it in the credits on the on the CD and vinyl and all that stuff. But that's still in the works, man. We're, right now it's crunch time. As you can see, I've been putting new pictures up. Jay Allums did a, a photo shoot. Yeah, for I me. saw that. A Papi Chulo <laughs> picture of uh, G.A. George Anthony. Yes, sir. And uh, I saw you guys taking uh, photos and videos. So I think this is going to be a great thing for our music. Yeah, man. And uh, that's why I always have the doors open for things like that. It's a positive project. It's made out of love. And of it's for our community, our freestyle community as a whole. Of course. And uh, I'm, I'm appreciating that because I'm, I'm a big fan of yours. But um, I know that your inspiration while you were, you know, uh, in the freestyle scene back in mm -hmm. the day was to, to measure up to George Lamont. Yeah. So now you guys are working together and there's that mutual respect. You guys Absolutely. do shows together. Yeah. Um, you guys have performed your brand new song together. Yeah. And uh, I even saw the mock-up, half your face, half his face. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And so, you know, I'm proud of you, and I, I, I'm, I can't wait to play this. I know there's a lot of people lined up to get the exclusive, and yeah. there's that back and forth. You yeah. know, and what I suggested was <clears> that, <throat> what, that we do a whole weekend yeah. uh, premiere. So it'll be, oh, you know, Thursday with me here. Mm -hmm. Right after Tim spinning Shomer, Absolutely. Friday more of GA here yeah. on, on ninety point seven. Saturday we'll find someone. I'm not sure who's doing Saturdays, but yeah. also on Friday Gino Caporale can put it on the show. Absolutely. Sunday La Mega, mm -hmm. uh, Monday Frankie Cutlass. Just yep. making a big, yep. huge weekend I'm, out of it. I'm letting Gino um, handle all of that because I'm I'm friend, I'm great friends with you. You're like my brother, Frankie Cutlass, great friend. You know Tim Shoma, great friend. All everybody who's you know they're all pioneers. <laughs> You know, you're a pioneer. Frankie's a pioneer. Tim's a pioneer. So it's like anybody that gets it, I know it's it's going to be in great hands. You know, there's a ton of DJs nowadays. You know what I'm yes. saying? New DJs. I got DJ Slice that I, I admire. I've been watching him. You know, he's in he's in his 30s, so he's kind of like in the newer generation, but he's doing his thing, exclusive DJ to Stevie B. And, you know, le cogí cariño, for, for lack of a better word in English. But um, great guy. And um, there's a lot of DJs out of PD. PDOO, who's who's been supporting me and, and a lot of artists and um listen this this record i think is going to change the game a little bit and I, I just feel it i have a gut feeling about it this time and that's why you see me like motivated i, and, I already got my wallet out time. ready for the vinyl yeah, the i'm ready vinyl, for the cds the CD. i'm ready for everything it's gonna be good and um just the other day i have um my acoustic producer um carlos belmont hit me up we might do now that it's over in ballad and um so this and translated in Spanish. There's so many things that we're gonna do with this song that people are just gonna be like, "What the hell?" Right. You know, and I'm excited about the whole thing. So yeah, just full steam ahead. Now, in retrospect, you know, you started, you know, back with Cruz and Nelson, and yeah. uh, your first song was "I Love You." I remember, yes, uh, you know, playing that vinyl for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you um, then hooked up with uh, uh, Mick Mac and did Groove Therapy. Yep. Uh, your name wasn't mentioned in there, but I know no. your voice. You know. Yeah. And then years later, Willie Valentine, Artistic Recordings, and yep. you stayed with Artistic Recordings yep. all the way through. And this uh, new partnership with uh, 418 Freestyle, it's a partnership with Willie Valentine, Artistic Recordings, yes. is, is uh, 418 Freestyle, Burials Beats. Yep. So everyone's together in this collaboration to put as many ears to this product. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. I mean, it really started with Willie Valentine because we <laughs> lived in the same building and... Um, I was singing in the shower. Willie Valentine said, hey, who's singing in the shower? And it was me singing, I love you. Just singing, I love you. And then, of course, he introduced me to Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz took me to Mirror Image. After that, I was, um, I was signed on Mic Mac doing I Love You in 1991. So that, that's how it all started. And, you know, then there was a little lapse, as always. And um, I tried the salsa thing. And, hey, listen, I got so many people to thank. But, yeah, Nelson Cruz, Willie Valentine, all, all there in the beginning. 
you know and it's it's, it's crazy how, how things just you know move full circle willie valentine is still in the picture and um i'm still an artistic artist and i i, I see only the big things happening what made you come back I mean, because, you know, you did Artistic Freestyle Parade, yeah. uh, volume number two, mm -hmm. um, and then you did some group therapy stuff uh, okay. for other uh, Freestyle Parade compilations. I, be, I believe it was 2K1. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, there was this big was lapse. lapse. Yeah, like yeah. almost like a 10-year So did lapse. you give up, or, or were you just doing other things? Uh, um, I, I went back to school, you know, and it took me like seven years to graduate. You know, I had my little, my kids, you know, the three, and she was just born. And I needed to focus on that, to be honest with you. It wasn't that I didn't love the game. I would always do it on the side. But from from doing research papers and studying and getting this bachelor's degree, you know, it was just difficult. So I was just watching from the sidelines and just supporting everybody like that way. You know what I mean? But um, I never stopped loving freestyle. I love freestyle. Imagine if I would have just done it more consecutively. Who knows? But, you know, things happen for a reason. Um, God has a plan for everyone. And my plan was to graduate um, college to be an example to my daughters and I have to finish graduating now. Now I can focus on the music. Now, back in uh, 2015, you released "Nothing Like Your Love," a, yeah. an album that to this day is the measuring stick <laughs> for freestyle albums. And I'll say that here live, mm -hmm. not because you are a friend, it's mm -hmm. because that is fact. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I dare anyone show me a better album uh, in the yes. 2000s that can measure up to that. And so, uh, you took almost two years to put this out because I remember that "Summer Love." was a free download yes. on SoundCloud. And that kind of changed the game too because you had rapping in it, but it, it was rapping that makes sense. Right. You know, we wanted to infuse a little bit of hip hop since back in the days, freestyle used to be called Latin hip hop. And it kind of worked for Summer Love. And we also did it for I Love You and for Time For You To Go with Molly Mays. Um, and it kind of worked. You know, people liked it and I liked it. You know, instead of me rapping on it, you know, Molly Mays rapped on it. And it, I think it was a nice infusion, to be honest with you. And um, we took two years. I started in 2013. And not because Jay Allen's is slow or that. I'm picky. You know, so it's like, you know. I, well, I if like you're Jay picky, I can only imagine George Lamont's pickiness. Oh, no. He's he's something else. He's he's um, he's a great example, though. You know what I'm saying? Perfectionist. Does, perfectionist. And, and for good reason. You know what I'm saying? He's a guy that's performed at the Apollo. He, he broke so many barriers back then that people don't notice. But go on YouTube. I'm like, wow. This guy performed in Dick, with, in Dick Clark. He, he did so many shows that we watch on TV now. And he, he just opened a lot of doors for us. And he has all the reason to be a perfectionist. And he didn't have to do this song. He says, George, you can put this song out by yourself. It's dope. I said, thank you. But I think... You on it will, will like, you know. I've already gotten phone difference. calls, people trying to book you together for gatherings yes. in this area and other areas. And I'm like, slow down. Yeah. I put in the call. And so it, it'll it'll happen. Yeah. No, no. He's 4000 I'm 50 bucks. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're going to set it off with uh, a little GA, George Anthony, featuring Molly Mays. And this is Summer Love, the perfect song for today, for the summer. Got to love this song. So many times in my life, I search my heart and try to understand how you got away from me. And now I go through my life, living a lie, not wanting to believe that you're just a man. Yesterday, there are no words I could say. I try 
Has Brody de Leon would say 90.7 FM WTCC is DPR with you. Along with GA George Anthony, we're over here designing stuff like I'm an executive producer. Look at that. I drew some. For those of you who are uh, watching us on Facebook Live, I'm drawing like little sticks. Anyways. I just want to give a shout out um, for the girls that are taking the road trip back to New York, the, the divas. They should be on the road right now with um, their coach, Joey, um, heading back to New York City. So if they're listening, I just want to say hello and um, to have a safe trip home. Well, um, I uh, wanted to also talk about the trips that you've made. I see <laughs> you. You're uh, last week, just last week, you were on a train to Connecticut to see Edwin Ramos. Yep. Then you hopped on a car with Willie Valentin to go to Philly. Yes. And then you hop Jumped back, a mega bus, yeah, a mega bus to, to get back to, to New York to do a, a show with George Lamont. I jumped on the A train. And do you went to do you feel that that? Uh, that reju- rejuvenation, uh, like like you're in your twenties again, you know. I always I always say when 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 it's worth doing it, like you just don't get tired. You know what I'm saying? It's everything that's happening right now is worth it, and um, I, you don't feel the the tiredness. The speedometer on your truck must be ridiculous right now. It's um over twenty thousand, like within the last two months, because I went to Cleveland. She had a tournament in Cleveland, and um, I drove to Cleveland, drove back. Because I had to come to work and do a show with George in Orchard Beach. And then at the Orchard Beach, I was like, all right, goodbye. I'm going back to Cleveland. Seven hours back to Cleveland. Wow. Uh, spend um, the day over there with um, her. It was her birthday. I'm going to um, get you a cape seven. just to, because you're super dad. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, and then, you know, love, it's, again, ser- serendipity. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm in I'm in town. Coming yeah. to the station. You know, and you're here. Yeah. yeah, no, no excuses, man. Just do it. You know what I'm saying? Drink some coffee. Don't make any excuses. Just do it. And um, you'll be fine. And this is the type of information that I want to give new artists because a lot of new artists want to sit at home behind the computer yeah. and, and they're upset because they're not featured. Right. But we have people like Jenny Renee yeah. who flew from Florida <laughs> just to debut her song here on this show. Yeah, man. And that's powerful. Shout out to Jenny Renee, man. All hooked up. For who sure. flew to Philadelphia to, you know, yeah. be in front of a, a small crowd, mm-hmm. but an important crowd because yeah. she got to meet her her studio head, her her mm-hmm. producer, her record label, yep. uh, Gino Caporelli. Yep. Uh, you know, there are people that are putting in the miles to be that old school artist that travels yep. to radio stations and shakes hands and, and exactly. talks and sends shout outs. And Absolutely. I, I just don't understand why is it that people think that just, you know, putting a song out and that's it. No, they got to they got to know how to focus their energy, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? And and um, that's about it. You know, if, if you know you have a, a song out, you got to promote it the right way. And it's not going to be through um, through behind a computer, to be honest with you. I can post little pictures here and there and put little snippets. But um, when the time comes to, to, you know, to pr- really promote your record, you got to go out there and meet people and, and make those sacrifices and go to those shows. And, you know, wherever you're invited to, you can ask and say, hey, you know, come down. I have a spot open for you. And, and make sure that, that you're being invited to go to these places. You know what I mean? So, um that's it. Says, yeah, you know, your song is hot. Come down. I want you to promote your, your, your record. What What is important now for an artist to have? What kind of uh, uh, package do they have when they're going to present themselves to an audience? What do you think? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, first of all, the you got to start off with the song. You know what I'm saying? You have to have a hot track, and and you gotta. For Jenny Renee, for example, she's new. You know, no, what she hasn't recorded or have you heard a record from her from no. back in Bay? She came out swinging. You know, she went, she got the hottest producer in the game, Jay Adams. Um, she asked me to, to be a part as far as songwriting. And I said, sure. I, it was a, a pleasure because once I had the tone of this girl's voice, I was like, it's so, I need to it's work so with her. It's so amazing. Yeah, I no, love the way she so says amazing. amazing. Love yeah. that. No, she she rocked it. And I said, wow, we, we got to do something with her. And then her humility was sick. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that she just reaches out in such a humble way. And she's a righteous person. She's God is in her life. You know, and she has doesn't have a bad bone in her body she has all the elements to be a great artist and people gravitated to her quickly as you can tell absolutely uh the number one song for six weeks here on the show yeah, man. still strong on the countdown over a hundred thousand uh yeah, i believe one hundred twenty-five thousand streams yeah. on on spotify i mean she's really really killing it right now mm-hmm. and that that means uh you know and not taking anything for granted which is great that means another song uh, on its way you know mm-hmm. that means um you know Earning an audience, yeah, of course. and again, you know what an impression to make to to come here to Massachusetts. She could have premiered her song 
in Florida yeah, because there are radio stations in Florida that would have played it. But no, she goes, let's go to Clubhouse in, in, uh, in New England and premiere the song, which is crazy. You know, that was, I think, was a great decision. She, she admires your show, her husband's Manny Man. Yeah. You know, Manny Man's been listening to you forever, and she has a great uh, man on her side, you know, guiding her in the right direction, I believe. And, um, you know, talking about Florida, we'll be in Florida July 26th. At her record release, you know, of uh, um, her performance, first performance, I guess, in Florida, um, the Coro at um, Haven in Orlando. So that's going to be July 26th. I'll be there. I think Winnie Valentine is going. I'm not sure. But there's going to be a lot of industry people there. It's going to be a great show. Well, right now we're going to uh, play, like, the number one song of 2015. The album was okay. the number one album of 2015. That's what's Still up. going strong four years later. Right now is G.A. George Anthony. And, of course... Nothing like your love at CPR and George Anthony in the studio as we jam freestyle in New England. And now the world is a freestyle retrospect. GA, George Anthony.
with CPR Jose Ortiz on 90.7, 90.7 WTCC and WTCC HG Springfield.
90.7 FM, WCCC, and CPR with you. You just heard Pose featuring G.A., George Anthony, and The Moment. And in the studios, not only do we have George Anthony, but joining us right now, it's the P to the O to the Z to the E. His name is Pose. Pose, welcome. Welcome back to Clubhouse. All right. Thank you, man. It's a, it's a great honor to be here and been a long time that I've been in the studio. I love it. Uh, behind the scenes, we're yelling, screaming, and then he gets on the mic. Yes, I would like to say that uh, <laughs> I, uh, I love children. and uh, uh, I, don't know if, uh, I don't know about that. Kissing, <laughs> kissing babies. And, uh, <laughs> hey, George, you got to do something about this. Hey, how are you? How's everything? Hey, women 24, 24 and over. Um, let me talk to you for a minute. You know it's me. It it's, it's me. It's too much artistic. You got to be on point when you're on the mic, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you, we just heard the moment, uh, uh, a retelling of uh, the song with uh, George Anthony's vocals added to it, which uh, made it give it that extra oomph. But uh, I love the song, but we actually need an actual duet between you two. So I, I want to talk about it now because I want it to happen <laughs> yeah. in 2019. So we can have something ready for 2020. No, we, we were just talking about that behind the scenes. You know, I, I'm, I'm really thinking about putting a duets album. Just because I've done duets with almost everybody. Julio Mena, Naeja, Wendy, Sammy Zone, Rudy Fausto. Um, if I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. Uh, and the duet the that I'm coming out with now with George Lamont. You know, and um, po I will add post to it. You know, I can actually have a, a nice little You call it album. George Anthony the Duel. Yeah, exactly. Versus everybody. Yeah. <laughs> GA versus the world. The world. <laughs> so uh, we're having this poll, that, and uh, Nick Cologne was like, you didn't put the polls featuring George Anthony on here. I'm like, yeah, because, you know, it, it wasn't an actual, like, like feature, meant yeah. to be uh, a duet. Vocals to exist. I, I put it in there anyways because people like to change their mind on their, their top three songs from <laughs> yeah. George Don't Anthony. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want anybody getting upset when because uh, the way that I put it, I put featuring the artist that was with you and sometimes... People get upset, but you guys did the songs together, and everybody understands that. It's, it's not meant to, to be disrespectful. It's just we're, we're doing George Anthony songs, songs that he was on, That's and right. we're having people choose uh, the songs that are their favorites, and uh, they're going to jot down their top three. We're going to put them all together and do the special edition GA George Anthony countdown as we premiere his brand new song with George Lamont. And so uh, I, I can't wait for you guys to get in the studio together. Definitely. Uh, yeah. I know what it sounds like to have you both together because I remember uh, over 20 years ago, we did a show in Chicopee. And it was all the altos, falsettos. It, it was everyone on that stage just doing this vocal freestyle cypher. Uh, that's a trademark from Angel Benna yesterday. But uh, <laughs> it, everybody just, I got it recorded on VHS. For all youngins out there in, that's the in the one? room right now, <laughs> uh, VHS is this tape that you used to put into this other... You, you've seen them before, right? Daddy has one. All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Google it, okay, kids? He's like, yeah, I threw, I threw those all out. Yeah, yeah. So we have this VHS, and Paul is on stage singing. George Adley's on there singing. Uh, we Michael have Anthony, too, I think. Michael Anthony, Anthony Berto's on there, Willie Valentine. I mean, I'm going to see if I can dig this up and try to get that clip. Yeah. But everybody's hitting these notes that I've never heard before. And then you and Pose have this, like, 15-second alto uh, situation there. I don't know how <laughs> any... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Santo. I don't know. I don't know how any studio is going to be able to handle mixing you guys down uh, together when you go... You guys do the, the yeah. high parts. That's why Edwin Ramos exists. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So that that was that was gonna be my punchline, but uh, you took uh, my thunder. Uh, I read your mind. Yeah, I know. <laughs> big shout out going to Edwin Ramos. Uh, so. He's creating a brand new studio in in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut, and uh, it's coming out lovely. It even has a bathroom. Yeah. A nice one. Yeah. Right next to the vocal booth. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> a bathroom right next to the vocal booth, so you you know. <laughs> You can smell your own poop when you're singing your... <laughs> Big shout out's going to have to... Hurry up with the vocals. Yeah, hurry up with the vocals. We've got to hurry up. You know who should get one of those? Jay Allums. Oh my. He actually does, though. Oh, no, he does. Yeah, it's right next to the... I see. All right. I got it. Big shout out to Jay Allums. Yes, sir. And, um, and Omira, too. And Big shout out to Omira. Let, let's talk about Jay Allums for a second. Yes, sir. 
Jay Adams has been your producer, uh, you know, since uh, you, you released yeah. Nothing Like Your Love. How do you feel mm-hmm. about uh, some of the disrespect that has been showed to him when it comes to his production? Because to me, I've been very vocal in regards to stuff that he produced that they didn't give him credit for. No, of course. And that someone else is taking credit for. How do you feel about someone taking credit for his work? You know, the the thing is that, you know, I, I love Jay Allen. He's my he's my brother. You know, plain and simple. We fought, we've we've disagreed, oh, no, I've seen those. and um I didn't speak to him for some time and then we'll you know, we'll have conversation. I'll be like, dude, you know, you know why I stopped talking to you, man? Mm-hmm. And you know, we've had those type of conversations. But going back to what you're saying, you know, I what Jay's what Jay's gotta do is just be and I and I tell everybody, not only Jay. Just be clear, you know, if if there's some type of agreement that's being made with somebody and he's saying, dude, I want you to do a production for me, but I don't want you to put your name on it because I, I want it to be. I want people to think that I did it. Not only is that wrong, but if that was the agreement, that was the agreement, plain and simple. But if that wasn't the agreement, give credit where it's due. Always give credit where it's due. Don't. I mean, that's that's the only problem that I see, to be honest with you. And um, and moving forward, I told I told Jay Allen, listen, be clear with people. You know what I'm saying? And don't, you know, you're the hottest thing out there right now. I don't think there's 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 nobody that that focuses on on doing a production so good on, unless you're Carlos Barrios, Willie Valentine, or, or those <clears> other <throat> people. You know, Santana twins. They 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 really focus on their craft. You know what I'm saying? For somebody to come and say, listen, you know, this is a whatever, whatever is on my thing. And, and then I give credit to the real producers. It's, I think it's, it's kind of effed up. Yeah, so there, there's you two know? projects out there right now. And I won't mention the projects because, you know, I've I, I spoken about it before. And I'm not going to disrespect your, your segment. But, okay. uh, you know, for them to remove his drop, for them to not give credit on mm-hmm. the on the artwork. Mm-hmm. And then for them to put out uh, inferior versions on, on the other versions of, of their mm-hmm. releases. I think it's pretty ridiculous, but um, I just hope that uh, he gets the, the the credit that he deserves. And so, yeah, uh, big shout outs going out to Jay Adams. Yes, sir. And uh, let's let's try to give credit where credit is due. I'm not sure why in 2019 it's hard for anyone mm-hmm. to give credit uh, mm-hmm. for for the most part. I think I think 80 percent to 85 percent of the freestyle community do not like to give credit, but the people that do mm-hmm. end up better for it. Like I'm sure that you're not going to have any issue saying. This song that's coming out exactly. now that it's over, uh, it's better because George Lamont is on it. There is, if, if I say that it wasn't, or or that the song would be better without him, I'd be lying. You know what I'm saying? So, f- let for example, if, if somebody else was to do a, a duet with George Lamont, same position as me, and says that with or without George Lamont, the song would have been better. It's not true. You know what I'm saying? Just just stick to the truth. Always things will turn out better for yourself and give credit where it's due. That's it. Also, one Bottom thing line. I want to give credit for is your altruism because you have always helping people behind the scenes oh, yeah. and you don't look for credit. And uh, I've talked about certain things that you've done in the past. Never. Um, and so how do I you think fe- I even painted your house once? Did I? Uh, yes, you did. Yeah, I was going to I was going to get to that. He came, he came all the way from New York City and uh, <laughs> painted the whole first floor of my home. I'm and, uh, you know, we were short. He went and he bought the paint and yep. came back and did it. Yep. Uh, when DJ Porky passed away, he was handing out um, he was handing out money. And he was there driving from New York with, with Sammy Zone. And and I, I, I always remember that. That I remember because, you know, how much Porky meant to me. And how altruistic you were with his daughter. Yeah, man. And how supportive you were with his family. And how you were in the hospital with yeah. us. That that right mm-hmm. there cemented the fact that we have a bond forever. Yeah. Uh, but as far as recording artists, there are people that um, sometimes don't belong in the spotlight, but you still try to ground by the ear and give them good advice. And you've done this many times, so I'm not specifically talking about someone. But you still help them, but in the end, it happens to bite you in the rear end. Does that concern you in any way? Zero. You know what I mean? The the thing is, if like I I only talk through experience. I don't I don't talk out of my butt like some people say like I, I actually experienced it and I don't want it to happen to that person so I say listen this is how you should do it you know what I'm saying and and, and you'll see the result just be patient you know my, my, my advice has always been be patient keep working and um, don't get frustrated you know what I mean that's it and, and keep a positive attitude but some people become impatient they get frustrated and you know it doesn't matter what I say. I can only give it. Listen, if and if that if that whoever I give this advice to decides not to take it and decides not to, you know, like me for whatever reason afterwards, at, at least I know what I did. I, I I feel what I did was right. 
You know what I'm saying? And, and I just move forward. And, you know, every, we're all adults. We're not kids anymore. If, if I was given this advice at 18, I would understand. But I'm 46 years old. You know what I'm saying? And, and if, you know what I'm saying, we're adults. We're reaching, we're half a century old. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You just keep it moving. Nothing upsets me. Not at this time and age, to be honest with you. I just have to just keep being who I am. Yeah, I call him sometimes so he could, uh, you know, take my confession on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I have holy water in the car. You want me to... <laughs> No. Happens no, all the no, time. No, no, GA, this is what happened. No, we good. You, you know? know, and so you know, we're he gets. Good. Good. I'll continue to help anybody if they if they want it. That's it. I'm. I just I wish I least. I just wish they listened more. You know, yeah. I, I you know we we you you've been in situations where I've been in and you sat peep us down too many. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you've if you actually tried to assist me mm-hmm. in communicating my message to them. You just can't come in here and say, play my song and introduce me to your audience. You got to earn something. Yes, sir. You know, you got to earn everyone that is watching you right now or yep. anyone that's going to sing your song when you come to one of our shows. You got to earn all that. Yeah. Uh, Pose, who's sitting here with us, had to earn everything that he's earned uh, all these years later, all these 27 years later. Pose came to one of my nights. It was a 24-hour freestyle marathon, and he came... Uh, with with Flexo and they came at at, at a night where I was doing from six in the morning uh, on uh, Saturday to six in the morning the next day twenty four hour freestyle marathon so I paid my dues and he came to pay his I have the recording on a cassette uh, again for all you young people in the room uh, a cassette is and I, I, I <laughs> Google it and uh, so you know he came and he sang live and and then connections were being made there uh, you know there was a rapport between Pose and I. And and because of CPR's clubhouse, he was able to get some opportunities. And here we are, all these la- all these years later. And I always say this live on the radio, and I'll say it in front of you, sir. The greatest voice to ever come out of New England is Pose, and he's sitting right here with us. And uh, he earned every single thing that he's ever received. And so that's what I want everyone else to do. Look at Jenny Renee. I I, I gotta keep using that. She could have debuted her song somewhere in New York. She could have debuted it in Florida. She could have debuted it anywhere. She came here. To debut her song, she she flew here to debut her song. I, I know people have have taken rides here to debut their songs, but again, the, the, you got to put in the work. Got to put in the work. Absolutely. Right. So you have a huge catalog, George Anthony. What is your favorite song uh, of your catalog? What, you can't count the George Lamont one; it's not out yet. Out of the sixty songs, <laughs> <laughs> divided um. by four, carry the seven. <laughs> No, I, I really like nothing like your love. Um, I love, I like Chance to Love a lot because I wrote it for for Lim, thinking about Limaris, my wife, and um, you know those two songs and 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 pretty much the a lot of the songs on the on the 2015 album, nothing like your love. Time for you to go was a was a great song. It was a song that I did with Charlie Baby, believe it or not, in 1993, and um, we even changed the chorus on it, um, and we just revamped it. And um, Heartbreaks with Niaja, I, I love that song. And, and I did I Love You Over, and I did I Love You in Ballad. You know, so one song that I, wa- I want to touch on is Alone. Mm-hmm. Alone, yeah. That song touched me in a way that, um, for me, there, there are two uh, songs that really resonate with me that were that were not taken to the next level the way they should have or should have gotten the exposure. Uh, one of them is Angel Mena's um, I Can't Go On. Mm-hmm. And they both start the same way. Alone right. is the same way. You guys start... Uh, you know, in this low uh, key melodic mm-hmm. voice, like a ballad type, mm-hmm. which reminds me of extreme more than words. And then mm-hmm. at, in the end, you guys break into this crescendo and it just becomes this experience to the entire song. And mm-hmm. so that, I get that with these two songs. But Alone, for me, is a standout song on, on mm-hmm. Nothing Like Your Love. And I can listen to that all day That's and listen fun. to the build up and listen to the, the words. And then at the end, you're just tired of being alone and you can yeah. hear it in your voice. Yeah. And that that's what you want out of a song. No, no, and, uh, you know, your wife over there is laughing at me. Mm-hmm. It's like, but uh, is that because you're alone, CPR? Is that because... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not alone. Uh, I'm very well accompanied by Luna, my uh, Husky mix. You guys got me hooked on Huskies, by the way. Yeah. So I needed to get one. Uh, so let's continue celebrating some of your music. Yes, right sir. now is a song that you wrote for your wife, Chance to Love. And uh, we're going to play it right now. We're 90.7 FM, WTCC. Right now is Chance to Love by G.A. George Anthony, a song he's dedicated 
to his lovely wife, Lamaris. The boss! I see you've been alone for far too long. I'm right here waiting for the chance to notice me. To Clubhouse Dance Music.
93.7 FM, WTTC, and CPR with you, along with GA, George Anthony. George, thank you so much for joining us here this week on the show. No, thank you, Jose, for having me, as always. And before I leave, I just want to give a special shout-out to my 418 family, Aki Star, Gino Caparelli, Carlos Berrios, Jenny Renee, Cynthia, Lizette Melendez, Sammy Zone, and... Man, we you got we got nothing but fire coming out, so just you know, stay tuned. Yeah, and uh, I can't wait to have Gino Caporelli here on the show. We're gonna have a master class. Mm-hmm. A lot of people out there um, are putting out freestyle music, and they're not aware that they're they're leaving money on the table. Yeah. And Gino's the type of person that wants to teach people on how to do things. Yeah. He's the type of person that you know wants to open doors for others, and so he was already named. And his label, 418 Music, was named the number one independent label. And then when they received that honor, he opened up 418 Freestyle. And this is what's happening with our music. So he wants to come here, do a master class, and teach any aspiring artist, no matter what genre of music. It could be freestyle, it could be hip-hop, R&B, whatever. He's going to come here and he's going to teach you his methods and, and how he gets people to um, stream you on, on Spotify and all the streaming services, which is going to monetize your, your music and uh, how to create, you know, avenues for yourself. Because a, a lot of freestyle people, especially, are leaving money on the table. No, no, of course. And, and, and for those who are interested in the whole streaming thing, it, it'll be definitely um, a good thing to watch and, and, and listen to when he does come down. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I, I want to thank you. I, I can't wait to, to, to hear, for the audience to hear, the new George Anthony versus George Lamond. It's going to be great. It's premiering right now. Now that it's over. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is George Anthony. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, George Lamont, and this is our new song, Now That It's Over. This is, this is CPR Jose Ortiz. Mr. Exclusive. Mr. Exclusive. Freestyle premiere on Clubhouse Dance Music and the CPR's Clubhouse Podcast. I don't want to waste your time. CPR's Clubhouse Podcast.
<laughs> People are like, what? He got it? <laughs> Insert. Frankie, Frankie, don't worry, Frankie. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see the video when I play it first. I'm just kidding. He goes, I, I like what he said to me on, 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 online. Because we had this back and forth going. No, he goes, I hear you, man. I, he listen, go, as long as it's friendly and it doesn't get boy, ridiculous. It's friendly on my side. He goes, I, he, <laughs> the, the song is going to be played on the number one show in all the freestyle. I was like, yeah, that's why I'm going to get it on Thursday. <laughs> and then you'll get it on Monday. You yeah, know? Let, let, let's have fun. Let's all get along. Let's help each other out. That's all that. I'm going to go back to what I stated. I want to propose a whole weekend of a premiere. This song is so big that not one show can contain it. It should be premiered here first on Thursday. <laughs> In that order. In that order. <laughs> and then Thursday night, it, it'll be Tim Spinning Shomer. The next day, we'll come and do six more hours of GA, George Anthony. Saturday, we'll have some of the mixed DJs or anyone who's doing the um, the online shows. Sunday, we got, you know, uh, the bad boy Richie Rich. And uh, Monday, we got Frankie Cutlass. It's, it's, it's a song that deserves a big premiere, not just... Uh, you know, an exclusive, yeah, no, no. Shout out to, like I which said, I'm going to get anyways here on the show. Uh, uh, next, yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. Next no, Thursday, no. I'm, I'm just kidding. No, it's going to be great. No, no. Shout out to Richie Rich doing his thing. Frankie Cutler's doing his thing. DJ Slice, P PDOO, <laughs> um, DOS, you know, DJ Slice. And any, listen, all these DJs, they're doing their thing. And, and I watch all their shows and all they're doing is, you know, lighting it up on online. I just want them to you stop know? going on social media, Facebook Live, and starting <laughs> issues, and then 20 minutes later, they're taking photo ops. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, dude. Nah, let's all let's all just get along. Listen, yeah. it's friendly competition out there. As long as shit, excuse my language, but as long as things don't get stupid, you know, that. that's all that matters, man, to be honest with you. Absolutely. There's, there's, there's no room for that, in other words. Well, you know, my you know my biggest concern always is the audience. So if if someone is on your side, Team GA, right? And I get Lamaris, I'm over here giving you this exotic name, right? So I get Lamaris to 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 do my bidding, right? Mm -hmm. And then we make up. She's the one that looks bad because she's on the outs. We're chilling, yeah. but she stuck up for me or for you or whatever. And then she's the one that's not cool with us. Yeah. And she was just trying to do the right thing. You know what no, I mean? I and that's what we do every day with our audience and yeah. the people. We always make them choose. And that's what I'm saying. Don't if you're mad about something, don't hit the button. Just wait. Yep. And then process it. Yeah, process it before you react. Don't never react on impulse, man. I used to do that a lot, man. And it's like, why did I do I remember, that? But after the fact, I remember. You know, I remember showing up with bats and stuff. I can't do. Stop. I'm, I'm so happy I never got arrested and went to jail, though. But anyway. Yeah. Let's let's um be, again. Let's all be I'm um, just grown ups. <laughs> let's all be grown ups. All right, look, <laughs> we'll cut down on the podcast, but uh, yes, sir. George Anthony, thank you so much for joining us no, here on the show you this for week. Me. Always a pleasure, and uh, I can't wait to do a, a freestyle, uh, in depth interview with you when it comes to the Freestyle Club. We're ready for you to do that that show because we want to learn the intricacies of of your career. We want to sure. tap into the salsa stuff, and when it comes to the podcast, we have a limited time. And I know that you're limited for your time, and I, I'm glad that you've hung with us for 90 minutes. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's my pleasure. Like your said. wife's looking at me like, tengo sueño, me quiero ir. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, we're going to end the, the, the show with uh, the song you did on Freestyle Parade, Valley Number 2, What Will It Take, the original version. Yeah. I know you did a 2015 version. Oldie but goodie. No, but, I, I still like the original, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah, yeah. so... So, uh, <laughs> anything else you want to say before you go? No, no, that's it. Um, just shout out to my 418 family, Carlos Berrios, Willie Valentin, Jay Adams. Thank you so much. My beautiful wife, wife Limaris, manager, my daughter, Liana, who didn't have to hang out with me. She was going to hang out at the hotel, but she came out. And, and she, she knows what a VCR out. and a cassette player she is. She learned what those are, and she says, Dad, I want to see what that VH VHS looks like when yeah. we get home. Yeah. And um, like I said, if the divas are still riding home, have a safe trip home. And thank you, CPR, as always, bro. Thank you My so house is much. your house. Big shout outs going out to Lorenzo Delon. Just oh, Lorenzo Delon, artistic family. Oh, my goodness. I, Wendy. I, I can see the screen. But, Wendy's um, joining 418 uh, Freestyle. Yeah, oh, Wendy. She's recording Sorry, Wendy. right now. It. Yes, Wendy. Listen, we, we have a lot of things in store. It's just too much to mention right now. Like I said, there's a podcast with more time. And um, we'll, we'll get in depth, more in depth with um, all that information. Well, until next time, it's uh, CPR saying goodbye, along with George Anthony, leaving you with G.A. himself. Now that it's over. For Freestyle Parade, volume number two, and this is What Will It Take? Coming up next, now that it's over, <laughs> G.A. George Anthony featuring George Lamont.
precious time I've given